Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at Warrior Nun. And uh, we're just going to try to keep this as brief as possible and just talk about it. So, Warrior Nun Season 2. All in all, this series is an interesting one. I had a lot of fun watching it. The action scene was pretty good. The storyline was pretty interesting also. A lot of it revolves around a group of, uh, basically a group of nuns. Are a secret organization which are re re representative of nuns. Um, they are a ta group of females too. They are tasked to protect the world from spiritual evils. That's it. That's like demons, so forth, and those type of thing. So that's basically their job. And. Uh, what happened is now there's a special warrior nun that is chosen among all of them called the Halo Bear. This young lady will bears the Halo, which is like this device that gives a warrior nun enhanced abilities. She can probably run faster, run on water, heal very quickly and all that stuff so it's a very interesting kind of story and dichotomy the entire story revolves around that concept and one thing i really appreciate with this series is how it tackles religion yeah so one thing i like about the series is how it tackles religion and how it represented that within the movie within the series and uh, it, it's a very interesting one in all said so basically it is indicative of the real world obviously and there is this big bad thing that's happening um that end up kill the original warrior on then the halo bearer then they have to select a new hair halo bearer but because the a villain or somebody was coming they had to hide the halo ring which is stuff it into a dead girl's body they hit the halo bonded with the girl and she went off so that's what goes season one in a nutshell. Like, I don't like. I don't really want to talk about season one because I already watched it already in a lot of cases. But what I want to talk about is season two. Season two pick up right where they left off. As season one, I think it was like a few months later, and so the same issues that were in that was in season one is also in season two, whereas there there is some rough acting that was present in season one that is not still present in season two. But regardless. It's still an improvement in much more ways than one. But one thing I must say though, the action scene for this series is well done. They didn't waste any time. The choreography was well done. I could believe that these chicks could have done what they were doing. Just, just on the fluidity of the movement and all that business. It didn't feel like, like there was any accommodating going on on the stuntman and it looks very fluid it moves very good and that was really good to see but yeah so one thing i have to co com commend this series for is like watching it's not bad it have all the marks of what would be a feminist movement series and for that it's not bad <laughs> I mean that when we said have all hallmarks of it, female lead, full female group, the guy is actually the, a guy is the villain, and the guy is still the villain in series two, villain in season one is still villain in season two. But what well, what I would say is what made it interesting is how the nuance of the character, how nuanced the characters are, and how well done the characters are, well written the characters are. The characters in itself are is very nuanced. Um, the, the females or the female characters are very nuanced. The, there wasn't a moment when I was thinking, oh, well, you, you know, it wasn't really that believable. The, the female actor, actresses were very, they did a good job of the material they were given. I could believe a very emotional um, thing that was presented on screen. I think only one thing. So the chick with wings, like she was one of the girls that I was like, like, I didn't like how she switched sides so easily. It's almost like she didn't actually, as a character, it just, to me, it just seems very off whim. I can understand the reason what they give in the series, but I just don't think it was enough for me 
in terms of our context i think that was the only thing that really stood out to me as a major problem of mine however apart from that it was all nicely written it was all the story the fight scenes were awesomely good the character moments were okay for the most part it wasn't this netflix here wasn't as boring as some of the other netflix series it kept me entertained it kept me intrigued it kept me go it kept me wanting more want to see more i like a watch off like entire eight episode in like a few days whilst and i never i never once dread watching it like i'm, I'm there watching it, but i'm never i'm never i never dread it i never like oh i don't really want to watch this do i have to watch it it was always a case where i want to watch it i want to see what's happening next and it's interesting to see what's happening next and all that business it, it, it's a, it was a very good well-written series and i don't want to really talk much more because i don't want to take on too much of guys time but it was a very good well, well-written series and i think everyone should really watch this series it's not I guess Stranger Things level good, but it's still good enough to really be an enjoyable experience. I'd, I'm not sure if this is based, this series is based on a comic book, but I feel like it is. Cause I thought, okay, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but I think it is. But one thing I would say though, apart from that, the, the, like the series is so good, bro, guys. Like this right now, like I'm so intrigued to see what happens in season three because. And one the next thing I like about the series is how they represent the nuances of religion and how they question us uh, so the the certain belief system in a sense where I just like what it represents all that. It's and in a in a, in a fantasy world, basically a fantasy mesh with a real world, it's kind of cool to see. And the suit and the costume designs are really good too. It was really interesting and good. And I really like that very much. And uh, the villain, I just wanted them to make the villain a bit more nuanced. I think they didn't really try. I think they could do more to try to make the villain a bit more nuanced. I think they could have done a lot more, but it is what it is. We got all got it, but it was still a very enjoyable experience regardless. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, I think that one of my main grabs is that I don't think the writers were really skilled enough to, I see to make the villain a bit more nuanced I mean, we could have seen them trying but they they just weren't skilled enough to take on that challenge you know and that's one of the sad things about it but it's uh <laughs> i give my a for effort but it's a really good series and i think you guys should check it out so whatever other guys cut this one show so please guys like subscribe leave a comment on the video and see you guys in the next one peace game lander out I remember to like, subscribe to it. I don't remember if I said that. <laughs> I just remember to do that. But it's usually really good. You guys should check it out and just like, subscribe. Leave a comment on the video and see you guys in the next one.